Yo, what is going on guys? It's Jackal here and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, some of the ad revenue and some things that I kind of missed or uh, kind of had the wrong perception on in my last ad revenue video. It was last Friday I believe. And before this video starts I do want to apologize for the popping of my mic. Uh, I think when I threw it down one time after I got angry at a game or something it just kind of, it's, it's starting to pop now. So I'll probably have to get a new mic in the future here. But anyways, uh, in the last video, I talked about how the age gate and the ad revenue was all going downhill, and uh, I didn't have any updated analytics I had like from this area right here where I was making zero cents until this area, which was like a whole month span. But I later learned that that was because I didn't have 10,000 views or more, and even though I, it did show that it was monetizing my videos, it actually wasn't because I didn't have 10,000 views. So I didn't have the updated analytics. I had just hit 10,000 views when I made that video, so it hadn't updated and showed me uh, earning profit from any of my videos. As you can see here, uh, I hit 10,000 views like right here and instantly uh, it's been going uphill from there. So I just kind of wanted to shed some light on that and then uh, just kind of retract my last statement of me not making any money from YouTube because of the age gate. Now, I also want to show this because it could it could give you a perception of the bigger YouTubers because uh, if you guys have been watching any YouTube recently, um, most of the higher leveled YouTubers like with millions of subscribers or 100,000, they've resorted to begging their fans for money. Uh, based on these statistics, I'm actually making more money than what, back when Coca-Cola didn't drop YouTube as, a, as an advertiser. Good kind of put my views into their views and now if I drag this over it shows how much money I've made in the past week like I think this is the day after my videos got remonetized or it was a couple of days after so this is when my videos got remonetized it goes from the 6th to the 18th of uh, May and then if we go back to overview it shows how many views I've been from the 6th to the 18th which is quite a few views compared to the last, uh, it used to take me 1,000 views to make a dollar, but it's taking me now around 3,000 views to make a dollar. People are getting about one third of the money that they used to be getting on YouTube. So I can understand that, yes, some uh, bigger YouTubers could not use the money more from by begging from their fans or by live streaming or stuff like that, but this also goes to show that they are still making if their videos aren't getting a demonetized, uh, they are still making a decent amount of money. So I just wanted to show that off. I'm not calling out anybody in particular. I don't know the analytics for other people in general. I just wanted to kind of show that off. And now I, I want to talk about maybe why YouTube has uh, implemented this 10,000 views or more to make any money. Now. When I first heard about this, I was like, oh, they just want to discourage everybody because now if you have under 10,000 views, uh, the way YouTube works is if your videos are monetized and they're making money for YouTube, then YouTube is going to promote those videos. But now if you're under 10,000 views, it's going to be really hard for you to make that 10,000 views and get up there in ranking in order to make money, which ultimately helps you grow your channel even more. Uh, as you can see, I've got, it's kind of been a steady stream for me. It's been really nice. It's really hard for these new upcoming YouTubers that don't have 10,000 views or more to, uh, not only to make money, but to get any sort of new views on their channel or new subscribers. It's going to be really a lot harder than it used to be. So that that's the one downside to it. But to the upside of it, uh, YouTube isn't having to pay these three cents for people who only post one video in their entire lifetime. And if you guys don't know, AdSense only lets you cash out if you make a hundred dollars or more. So these people are basically getting these low amounts like five cents, three cents, which adds up if there's thousands and millions of people doing that. It, it kind of adds up. But YouTube no longer has to pay these people to to make these three cents or whatever. So it's saving them money and they're able to then give more money and to be able to hit that cash out number. But anyways guys, I hope that sheds some light and kind of gives a better understanding on like what's going on with YouTube. And 
uh, if you are coming from the last video, because I'm going to post a little reminder on there somehow, uh, I hope this clears up some stuff for you. Uh, if you are a small YouTuber, uh, hit that like button if this did help you out, and I will see you in the next one.